Weighing fish samples is very intuitive and follows the same general principle when dealing with other objects. However, it is important to take note that the weight of a fish changes as it dries. So weighing should be done as soon as possible after capture. It is important to make measurements at a standard degree of wetness. Thus, fish are sometimes kept wet by pouring water over them such as during transport. Or they are dried with a piece of cloth or paper to make them towel dry before weighing. What is important is that you should be consistent with your procedure for all your weight samples. In selecting a weighing tool, any precise weighing equipment that has the capacity to accommodate the weight of the fish can be used. Ideally, a weighing scale should be precise to 1% of the weight of the fish and calibrated regularly. This is usually done by weighing standard weights and performing a regression analysis of measured weight on actual weight. In the field or onboard vessels, spring scales are considered reliable, transportable weighing instruments. Small packet-sized spring scales in various ranges such as 0.1 kg and 0 to 10 kg are useful for rough measurements and could be carried on all field trips. When weighing using a spring scale, the fish can be directly hooked on the mouth or placed in a container like a bucket as long as the weight is accounted for or teared if a digital spring scale is used. If several samples will be weighed in a container, it is important to drain the water that might accumulate on it. In a laboratory setting, fish samples can be weighed on bench scales after measuring their lengths. This approach is also suitable for studies that need the individual weights of each fish or certain body parts. Generally, weights are as good as length measurements but they are not regularly used because they are time-consuming to collect and prone to large inaccuracies. However, it is essential to establish length-weight relationships for all species because at some point in stock assessments, fish lengths have to be converted to the weight of the fish. It is also necessary to have seasonal length-weight relationships for both whole and gutted fish. This data is particularly useful for whole fish whose weight may, may be much greater during the spawning season than during the non-spawning season. Photos of measured fish samples may be used for future use such as validation and presentations. Hence, it is advantageous to secure photographs of your samples. If possible, take at least two photos of the fish. One photo of the entire fish and another if there are abnormalities like a tumor, wound, or discoloration. Or a distinct characteristic that may be useful for taxonomic identification. When taking the photo of the whole fish, putting a scaling measure in the photo will be helpful to help you or other people viewing it to tell the approximate size of the fish. Place something by the side of the fish like a ruler, coin, or other common objects you have. Include the date as well as the total time since the fish was caught until the photo was taken. And that's it for today's episode on length and weight measurements of fishes. I hope that you learned something that you can apply in your future research and other scientific activities. Let's learn together online only here at the Wata channel. If you have questions or just want to share something about the topic, just comment down below and like and subscribe. Take care and stay curious. Bye!